my name is Iris Franz, and today we're going to continue to talk about cost of production. In particular, I want to talk about the difference between fixed cost, variable cost, total cost, and marginal cost. Now, from my teaching experience, I noticed that students typically feel a little bit intimidated by the subject, but uh, um, it's not that hard, trust me. It might be a little bit technical, but uh, it's not that hard. So hopefully after you watch this video, you feel more confident about the subject. So by definition, fixed cost, it's fixed. It does not vary with your quantity. So it doesn't matter how much or how little you produce, fixed cost is something that you have to pay. It's the same. It does not vary with quantity. Now variable cost, by definition, it will vary with quantity. The more you produce, the higher the variable cost. And if you produce nothing, so the quality is zero, then your variable cost is equal to zero. And total cost, by definition, is the sum of fixed cost and variable cost. So we have our first equation, total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. Now we're going to take a look at an example. Suppose you offer your own restaurant, then uh, fixed cost will be the cost you have to pay and that's the same amount, it doesn't matter how much food you sell or how little food you sell. So um, think of rent, for example, you don't have your own space for restaurants, so you rent a space. And the contract is for one year, so you have to pay your rent every month. It doesn't matter how much food or how little you produce, it doesn't matter sometimes you close down your restaurant, say um, every Monday your restaurant is closed, you don't sell any food, your quantity produced is zero, but you still have to pay for your rent. Same as insurance, your insurance is by contract is one year, so you have to pay your insurance every month. It doesn't matter how many plates of food or how little food you sell, you have to pay your insurance. And suppose you hire one chef or two chefs and you sign a contract with them, say one year, then every month you will have to pay salary to the chef. It doesn't matter how much food you produce, it doesn't matter if you produce nothing, you still have to pay your chef. So that will be our fixed cost. What about variable cost? Variable cost will be, say, plates of food. The more plates of food you sell, um, the more lettuce and tomatoes you have to buy. So variable cost is higher when um, your quantity goes up. So the more plates of food you sell, the higher the variable cost. And presumably, the more plates of food you sell, the more napkins you will have to provide to your customer same as plastic utensils if you provide them. So these are variable costs. If you close down your um, restaurant, say on Mondays, and you sell no food, then your variable cost will be zero because you're not selling food and you don't need to buy lettuce and tomatoes on that day. And no one will take your uh, napkins or plastic utensils when you close down your restaurant on Mondays. So you can see variable cost is zero when quality is zero. And so that's our first equation. Total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. That's our equation one. And notice that I'm going to take my equation one and divide both sides by quantity. So I'm going to divide total cost by quantity and divide fixed cost by quantity and variable cost by quantity. You see, I didn't change anything. I just divide both sides by quantity. And if you divide total cost by quantity, you get average total cost. That's our equation two. So by definition, average total cost is equal to total cost divided by quantity. And equation three is that fixed cost divided by quantity will give you average fixed cost. So it's just idea of average. And if you divide variable cost by quantity, then you get our equation four, that's called average variable cost. So just divide that equation, equation one, by quantity on both sides, you get your equation five, meaning average total cost is equal to average fixed cost plus average variable cost. And if in the exam, you want to remember that clearly, just remember to put an A in front of everything. So put an A in front of TC, you get ATC. You are actually divided by quantity, but you just put an A in front of it. Same as that, AFC and that ABC. So you get your equation five. And notice that I can also present equation 2 in a different way. So if I multiply equation 2 by quantity on both sides, then the left hand side you get total cost. 
And on the right hand side, you get every show cost times quantity. See again, I didn't change anything. Just multiply that by quantity. So I'll get equation 2 prime from equation 2. Just multiply quantity on both sides. And same way, I can get equation 3 prime from equation 3. Just multiply both sides by quantity, and I get fixed cost is equal to average fixed cost times quantity. And also multiply quantity on both sides of equation 4, I get variable cost is equal to average variable cost times quantity. Now it might look a little bit intimidating, but it's actually not that hard. I'm just playing the number around, divide by quantity, or multiply by quantity. The last thing that might be a little bit tricky is marginal cost. So if you remember, the meaning of marginal is one additional. So marginal cost really is the cost of producing one additional unit. Again, in English, marginal cost is the cost of producing one additional unit. And mathematically, it will be change in total cost divided by change in quantity. So your total cost increases a little bit. What is the difference? And your quantity increases a little bit. What is the difference? So change in total cost divided by change in quantity. And if you know calculus, Marginal cost really is just taking the derivative of total cost with respect to quantity. And if you have not taken calculus, don't worry. Just remember, in English, marginal cost is the cost of producing one additional unit, or mathematically, is change in total cost divided by change in quantity. So I hope this helps, and in the next few videos, I'm going to show you the different graphs, like fixed cost is flat, and uh, variable costing is increasing. I'm going to show you that video. So hopefully this video